All right, you guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to your bar class. My name's Elena, in case you didn't already know, and today we are going to need nothing, absolutely nothing. If you have a chair for stability, you can grab it. If you have bands or dumbbells that you want to use to make this class a little bit harder, I will let you know when to use them. Otherwise, just need yourself. All right, and you can do this class barefoot or with socks. Make sure you're not going to slip. Let's start with our warm up. Let's, let's start with today. Let's start with our head. Let's start with our neck. Let's bring our head side to side. And then take a nice big circle all the way around. And reverse that direction. And bring it back to center. Bring those arms up over the head. Interlock those fingers up and reach as high as you can. And up and over, just a little bit to the right. And up and over to the left, using your core to help you. Bring those arms down, hands on the shoulder blades, shoulder joints. Nice big circles with the elbows. And reverse that direction. And we're gonna open and close. Open those elbows as wide as you can as if you're gonna touch them together behind you and then squeeze them together in front. Open and close, we're gonna do about three of these. Two. One more, shake it out. Pick up those legs. Let's bring it into some knee lifts. Try to keep those shoulders down and back, core engaged. All right, we're gonna pick those knees up a little bit outer to the outside. Turn those knees out. Back to front. This time we're gonna bring the foot out a little further away from us. As if you're slowly straightening that leg. Get it as straight as you can. All right, last one. Go ahead and bring that heel up to your butt for some butt kicks. Warm up those knees. All right, we're gonna take it down into a nice squat position. Squat is down and up. Body weight squats. Pressing those knees out at the bottom, keeping that chest up. Three more. Nice, all right, back it up, find a little bit of space. We're gonna do our plank walkout. We're gonna bring our chin down to our chest. Roll those shoulders forward, weave through the spine all the way down and then walk those hands out into a plank position. Come into that plank position and hold. Walk the hands back in, up to standing. And we're gonna repeat. This time we're gonna add in a leg stretch. So we're gonna walk it out into our plank. Go ahead and bring that right leg underneath. Press those hips down. Sit up nice and tall, you need a little bit more of a stretch. Drop that left hand down, right arm comes up. Open up that chest, look up at the ceiling. And replace that leg back into your plank position and left leg comes forward. Again, making sure our knee is in line with our ankle. 
Bring that left arm up. And press it up one last time. Ooh, almost fell, got it. Press it down. And hands back down, back into a plank position. We're gonna bring the hips up to a down dog. Back down to our plank. And then back up to a down dog two more times. And then walk those hands into the feet. Come up to standing. All right, let's see, how are we on time? Perfect. You guys, we're gonna start with our upper body. So, the name of the game, don't drop the arms. Let's start with our first position, just your base of support, heels together, toes apart. Tuck those hips underneath and I want you to squeeze your glutes. If you touch your butt cheeks, they should feel like apples, not applesauce. Bring those arms straight out, pull that belly button into your spine, so your whole lower body's still working. We're gonna bring some arm circles in. Circling to the back. And if you have one pound or two pound weights, feel free to grab them and add them in at any point. But you will feel this without weights just as much. Bring them back and reverse that direction to the front. You can hold your imaginary weights, squeeze your hands. Three, two, one, give me thumbs up. Up to the ceiling, up and down. Stopping at that bottom and squeezing those scapulas. Up and down for three, two, one, give me thumbs down. Elbows turn up, a little bit of bend in the arm is fine. Starting to feel it. Thumbs down, three, two, one. Give me thumbs up to thumbs down. Up, down, up, down, rotating in and out. Keeping those arms strong, don't you drop them. Down and up for three, two, and one. We're gonna hold those arms out there, bring them out in front of you, hold your imaginary beach ball. Bring them up straight over your head. Bring it out to the side. Bring it in front. And up. And out. Repeat. In. Straight up. Out. And in. Keep it going. Up. Out. And in. Last one. We're going to bring it up. Down to the side. Hold here. And we're going to reverse that. It's going to come up over the head. Ooh. Down in front. And open. Palms up, together, down, and out. You have to drop the arms, drop them for three seconds, and then bring it right back up. Two more. Last one. Bend those elbows in. Go, ooh, that feels nice. And then extend them back out and squeeze. I want you to focus on that squeeze behind the scapulas. Reach it out, squeeze it in. Really squeeze. Three, two, one. I want you to bring it back in and I want you to flex your biceps and I want you to squeeze your biceps as hard as you can. Isometric contraction here. So you are flexing. You're as if you were gonna show off them muscles. Squeeze and extend eight more. Bring it in, squeeze, out. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring those arms behind. Give them a nice little stretch. Shake it out. Get some nice little arm swings. Hope those shoulders are feeling nice and warm. All right, bring it down to the floor because you know I'm gonna make you guys do push-ups after this. <laughs> All right, bring it down into your push-up position. I want you to challenge yourself today with these. 
we're gonna go for our normal two sets of eight. So if you, if you feel I go too fast or if you are on your own time, meet me in child's pose after your eight or as many as you can do. So pull that core in and hands right under the shoulders. Here we go, number one. Two, three, keep those glutes squeezed. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Rock it back to your child's pose when you're done. And to the up. Take a nice big breath in, take a stretch with those arms before we do our next eight. All right, back into that position. Eight more, here we go. And one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, fight it, seven, and eight. Rock it back to your child's pose. If you are feeling good with your push-ups and you want to do another set, go ahead and do eight more. And if you are watching this as a pre-recorded class, go ahead and pause it and do eight more. Otherwise, go ahead and take a nice little stretch. And while we stretch, if you wanna finish a third set, go right ahead. Bring those arms up. Bring them behind the head, interlock those hands on the elbows and bring them far behind your head as you can. Arms out and behind. One last stretch. All right, we have some tricep dips coming up next. Whichever way you want to do your tricep dips, if you have a bench or a chair that is sturdy, I will not attempt my swivel chair today, or you can do them right on the floor. Hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards your hips. Lift the hips off the floor. Really focus on only moving those elbows straight back and up, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're gonna do two more, nine, and 10. Whew. All right, we're gonna, again, take a second, breathe, stretch it out. We're gonna do 10 more. All right, a little bit of rest in between. Inhale, lift those hips up. And drop it down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Sit it back, breathe. We have one more set. I'm gonna make you guys do three sets, triceps today. If these uh, bother your wrist at all and they're really sensitive, you can also have the wrist back here. You can lean it back and use those triceps to press you forward, squeezing at the top. You'll still get a good workout with those ones as well. Or you can sit on the knees and you can hold your imaginary weights and you can do straight arm triceps, just like that. All right, last set of 10. Here we go, hands behind. Inhale, lift, drop it down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, shake out those wrists. If you're like me, my wrists get sore pretty quickly, so I like to take a minute and just shake them out. All right, take a quick second for water, and then we are going to do some core work on the floor.
I'm going to do timed ones for these because I am terrible at counting core stuff. And you guys probably don't want me to count, otherwise we'll be here for an hour. All right. So we got four exercises, 30 seconds each. And we are going to start with, you know what? Our butterfly crunches. All right. So again, butterfly crunch, if you want to add a weight, um, if these are starting to get easy for you, go ahead and grab a weight or anything that you'd like, a book, whatever is close by. Um, I've used my nephew before. It's really good if you have a little, little kid on you too. It really helps if you're home with kids. <sighs> All right, so if you can't have a weight or if you're still struggling with, with getting the basic movement down, you're gonna start laying down nice and flat, hips turned back, knees apart. You're just gonna lift those shoulder blades off the ground, look straight through at the wall and bring it right back down. If you're doing this half version, I want you to hold it up for two seconds before you come back down. Otherwise, come all the way up to seated and all the way back down. These are about control. Here we go. Inhale, starting up nice and tall, roll it through. All the way down flat and back up. Keep those feet pressed together. If you have a weight, I want you to hold it as close to your body as possible. You will notice a difference. Less than 10 seconds. Last one. And break. All right. 20 seconds to breathe. Lay it down all the way flat. Bring those toes up in the air. We're gonna do toe touches. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Here we go. Inhale, lift right hand to left toe. I want you to really try to get those shoulder blades off the ground. Ten seconds. And break. Take a second. I assume it's being weird. Hopefully I don't get booted. Okay. All right, V set, you guys. Set it up, back on the butt. Hands behind the thighs. Lean it back, roll those hips under. Shin parallel to ceiling. Arms, let them go. Find that balance. Open the knees apart. And close, clamshells in this V sit position. Open, close. Nice and slow. Open, close. If you want to make these a little harder, bring your arms up a little higher. Dare to do them above the head. Three, two, one, and break. All right. The last one. All right, Russian twist, side to side. Feet down or feet up. Weight or no weight. Lean it back. Inhale, bring it side to side. Nice and slow. If you don't have a weight, hands together. Tap the fingertips on the ground. Three, two, one, and break. We're gonna go back from the top, which is our butterfly crunches. All right, 10 seconds to breathe. Let's go. Grab weight or just yourself here we go inhale roll through that spine back up to sitting or halfway twelve seconds left Uh, 
last one. Ooh. Toe touches are next. Lay it down flat. All right, opposite hand to opposite toe. Bring those feetsies up. Here we go. Reach one. And really get those shoulder blades up. Whew. Five seconds. And rest. All right, we'll get ready for that V set. All right, three seconds. Here we go. Lean it back. Shins parallel to the ceiling. Let go of those arms. Pull those knees apart and together. Make this harder. Bring the knees a little further away from you. Ooh, that. Feel that fast. 10 seconds. Slow and controlled. And rest. Woo. Okay, brush and twist. Side to side. Here we go. Lean it back. Pick those feet up if you want to challenge. And side to side. Twelve seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Woo. All right, roll it over onto your stomach real quick. Go ahead and bring it into a little up dog. Stretch out that core. Bring it up. We're gonna go to standing. Grab some water as needed. Make sure the music is doing right. All right. All right, we're gonna warm up those legs. We are gonna do some calf raises. All right, you guys. We're gonna start in our parallel position. Feet right under your hips. I'm just gonna have my little closet support door for <laughs> for if I need anything for balance. Otherwise you can do this with a chair close by or nothing at all. All right, plant those feet into the ground, pull that core in, think of tucking those hips underneath, roll up onto the toes and back down, up and down. We have 30 seconds in this parallel position. Three, two, one, and hold it at the top. I want you to find your balance. Have your arms out front. You can hold something or you can just keep them down by your side. I want you to get up as high as you can on those toes and then bring it down, bend the knees, take a nice little stretch in those calves. And then from here, we're gonna go into a first position. So think of your little penguin stance. Toes apart, heels together. Retuck those hips underneath. Go ahead and roll up onto those toes. Inhale, bring it back down and up. 
down and up. Rolling through those feet. Chest is nice and wide. Shoulders are down and back. Glutes should be squeezed. If you are touching your butt, it should be activated. Three, two, one, go up and hold. Take your balance. And bring it down, bend the knees just a little bit. Actually a little, little tiny squat. Check out the legs before we go into our second position. Shake out those legs. All right, second position. Feet just under the, the shoulders, same thing. Toes pointing out, bring it up onto those toes. Find that position where your ankles are not rolling back or side. Try to keep them in line from here. Pull that core in. Put your hand right on the top of your butt and Feel the difference of if your hips are tilted forward or if they are tilted under, this is that position. Hold it here, we're still on our toes. Bring it down and up for one. Once you feel that position is locked in, go ahead and you can release your hands. Keeping your hands there sometimes will help you keep that forward. Tilt, up and down. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, go up and hold. Take that balance. Core tight, glutes squeeze, shoulders down. A Macarena, bring it down and bend those knees. Go ahead and put that right foot out in front. Put the hips back, take a nice little stretch here. Same thing with that left foot. All right, from here, we are going to do even more on the toes. You can do all of this flat-footed too as well. If you have really sensitive feet or plantar fasciitis, anything that's bothering you, you can do this all flat-footed as well. So we're gonna target a little bit more of our quads now. So we're gonna bring it into a parallel position, releve, slash, go up on your toes. And from here, we are just going to bend the knees very slightly. Retuck those hips underneath. So if you need to, think of sticking your butt out and then think of tucking it back in. Shoulders down, core's tight. Bring it down an inch, up an inch, full thing. Up and down. So just a little bend. Controlling it. About 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. Bring it down at the lowest part. Make sure those hips are tucked under. From here, you're gonna drop the heels down and up. Down and up for two, we're going for five. Three, four, five, pulse it up and down. Again, repeat. for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way up to come down. Shake out those legs. All right, we're gonna go into our first position, same thing. Open up those toes apart. Heels together. Bring it up onto those toes. Slide the heels in just a little bit and then bend the knees just a few inches so you should have a diamond shape with your legs we should all look like little froggies right now all right make sure you are on all of your toes and you're not rolled back try to make sure your weight is distributed even around those toes retuck those hips underneath pull that core in pulls it down and up down and up pulse and away Whew. 
notice here, shaking, forking. I always shake. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit it down to the lowest position. Keep those glutes squeezed. We're going to bring those feet back in line so that we're back in parallel. Just like that, retuck those hips, make sure they're tucked under, open and close those knees apart. Open and close. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and stay in that nice open position, keeping the knees pointed out. Retuck those hips underneath, pulse it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, come down. Shake out those legs. All right, we have one more position. That is our second position. So it's gonna be a little bit more brutal, but that's okay. If you need something to hold on to for stability, this is a good one to do that. It's a little bit harder on stability-wise. Get the water. Toes facing out. Do this on a nice little angle here. Bring it up onto the toes. All right, from here, I'm gonna hold on to my little door. I'm gonna bend the knees. And I want you to get as low as you comfortably can in this position. Again, retuck those hips underneath and try to bring those shoulders right above the hips. So we're not leaning forward, we are up. Hips are tucked pressing through. You should feel that in the front of your groin as well. All right, from here, we are pulsing up and down. These are more intense. Feel free to drop the heels down at any point and continue pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the heels, bring it up to standing. Take a second to breathe. All right, back down into that wide second position. This time I want you to bring the legs a little bit wider. Think sumo squat. And bring it down, heels flat. Feet flat on the floor. I want you to bring it down into that sumo position. And we're pulsing very lightly. Think of bringing those knees backwards, pulsing up and down, pressing through those heels. From here, we're gonna lift our right heel off the ground. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch sides to the left, heel up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> we did two bonus ones on that side. All right, walk those feet in. And shake it out, take a nice little stretch with the legs. We're gonna bring it down onto the floor. All right. Very similar to our last week's class. We're gonna again start with our clamshells on the side. So we're gonna bring it down onto our left arm. Knees stacked on top. And this time we are going to keep it straight. Again, lift have that toe, I want you to extend that leg out and I want you to flex every muscle in that leg. Go through your muscles mentally. Think of your quad, tap it, it's squeezed, you're good. Calf, squeezed, toe pointed. Lift it up and down. You can also do this with a flexed foot if that helps you engage it in a different way. You can experiment with a flexed foot versus a pointed foot. All right, lift it at the top. 
and I want you just to pulse it up and down. Little, think of a little tiny circle at the top to the back. Tiny circle, back, two, three, four, five. Reverse for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Ah. All right, other side. Not slouching into that shoulder. We are staying up. This is essentially like a side plank, but our hip is down. All right, extend that left leg out. Re-engage all those muscles. Lift and lower. Try to keep that knee facing forward instead of turning it up to the ceiling so that that happens. We wanna keep it so that it is focusing on that outer hip. All right, bring it up, hold it at the top, circle to the front for five, four, three, two, one, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, bring it down. All right. Next, in this little circuit, we are going to go hands and knees. And we're gonna do our fire hydrants. So we're gonna add a little bit of a twist to them. If you are still working on perfecting your fire hydrants, I want you to do just the regular version, which is knee bent into here, up and down. You wanna make these a little bit harder. You're gonna bring it up. Extend that leg out as straight as you can. Bend it back in and back down. So think of unfolding that leg out. 30 seconds on the clock on the right side, and then we'll do the same on the left. Here we go. Inhale. Right leg comes out. Extend it back in. Remember, these are all about control. So take it easy. Don't need to speed through them. Three seconds. And break. Switch sides, get ready for that left side. It's gonna be a little bit more intense. Make sure there's some space between your knees and try not to lean too far into that right hip. Otherwise you will feel it more in the right hip as well as the left that's working. All right, hands under the shoulders, pull the core in, left leg comes up, extend it out, nice and slow. <sighs> 10 seconds. As these get harder, just decrease your range of motion. And rest. You can rock it back into a child's pose. Take a second to breathe. All right. We're gonna go back real quick to our side-lying little clammy shells. Here we go. Nice and tall in that left arm. Core is tight, glutes are squeezed. Down that leg, bring it up and down. Hold that leg out there at the top. Circle to the back for five, four, three, two, one, reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Lift it up to come down. With sides. All right, right arm, left leg extends. Inhale, lift right into it. Make sure that quad is squeezed. Calf muscles engaged. And hold that leg up there. 
circles back. And to the front. Three, two, one, and bring it down. All right, last set. We're gonna go right side first. Fire hydrants with that extension, if you're feeling it. Here we go. Inhale, bring it up, extend it out nice and slow. If you wanna make this even harder, you can extend that leg out, tap the toe, and then bring it back in. That's if you're really feeling like burning out your hips today. Three seconds, almost there. And rest. Switch sides. All right, back down onto all fours. Pull the core in. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Here we go. And left side. Extend it out. Ten seconds. Ooh, almost there. Three, two, one. Both of those knees apart, bring the toes together. We're off back into a child's pose. Take a big breath in. Bring it forward into a butterfly position. Sitting up nice and tall. Scoot yourself in as far as you can comfortably. Bring those arms out, reach it forward. Bring it back to center. Reach, fold. Bring the arms down. Hold here if you want to bend the arms, try to bring yourself a little closer. Extend both legs out in front of you. Cross that right leg over. Nice little figure four stretch. Open that knee. You can use that right elbow to help press it down. And as you lean forward, it will also increase that stretch. And switch legs. Left knee, press it down. If having it up on the thigh is too much, bring it right down on the floor and reach it forward. And send that leg back out. Both feet out in front of you. Bring those arms up. Lift up and slowly reach over to those toes. Hold it here. Nice big deep breath. And lift it up, bring it in, shake out those legs, stretch out anything else you need. Don't forget to hydrate, get outside when you can. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, guys. Thank you for joining me.